So we're here today at the Fairmont Windsor Park Hotel just outside London. We're here for the DSP Leaders World Forum 2022 edition and I'm here with Danielle Royston, co-founder and CEO of Telco DR and acting CEO of Totogi. Danielle, great to see you. Thanks very much for joining us. Oh, so great to be here. Thanks so much, Ray. So, Danielle, you're one of about 100 exclusive participants at this event. We're here to talk about the transition of the communication service provider community to become digital service providers and all the challenges and opportunities that that represents. You're here for meetings, you're getting interviewed, uh, and you're on two panel sessions, Clouds on the Horizon and also the uh, capitalising on an open vendor ecosystem. What are you particularly looking forward to talking about? Well, the public cloud, of course. Um, I'm super excited on Clouds on the Horizon. Uh, Amal Page from Google, the head of telco in Google, will be participating. So maybe someone on my side for once. So I'm really looking forward to that. And then on the open uh, vendor ecosystem, we got Santiago Tenorio from Vodafone and the TIP, uh, the Telecom Info Project. And so I think that's going to be really, really great to have a nice debate about uh, kind of changing the closed wall vendor ecosystem into something more open. I think that's going to really benefit telcos and I'm looking forward to that. So uh, for a few years now, you've been a, a very strong advocate for the move to public cloud. Uh, and of course, that's continuing now with your role as the acting CEO of Totogi. Now, Totogi is focused very much on building telco SaaS software for the public cloud. Uh, what updates can you give us on Totogi? You know, what are the developments there? How are you getting on? Yeah, I think the hardest thing about breaking into telco is being a startup and, you know, is it ready yet and is it ready for telcos to use? And I'm excited to announce that I think we are actually moving into that territory. Um, we are announcing the general availability of the charger. It means it's available in 26 regions around the world. So virtually any telco can start to use that system. It's multi-tenanted, so there's nothing to install. You literally just attach your network, add your subscribers, add your plan and up and running. It is running live as we speak. With our marketplace product, we've started to contribute revenue to telcos. And so that's really exciting to be adding to potentially helping them grow their ARPUs. So we've just crossed into double digit customers, which is fantastic. Early traction is always a great thing. People are starting to use it. We started down market with tier threes and moved into tier twos. And now we're starting to work with tier ones. Again, not taking over the crown jewels, not swapping out you know, the Amdocs projects here and there, but we're starting to get experiments of different segments of subscribers. And when tier ones start to ask you for exclusive deals, I guess that means that you have differentiated technology. So I'm really excited to say that. And if we think about it, it's May 2022, not that long since Totogi was announced. So it's a really short time scale from actually saying we're, we're launching we're a company yeah. and you're here to market. I mean, what kind of time scale is this and how have you got to market so quickly? Well, you know, I was, I left Optiva at the end, of, I guess in the middle of 2020 and spent almost a year kind of stealthily building. Um, and then we had that amazing opportunity at MWC 21 with the, uh, with the Ericsson booth takeover, um, which might have been a little bit of a launch at Totogi a little bit earlier than I would have liked, you know, all things being equal. But it was just such an amazing opportunity to put ourselves on, on the map in telco. Um, since then, you know, is it all hype? Is it real? Like, where are we? And so, you know, I have been really beating up my team. Like, guys, we need to we need to get some wins on the board. We need to really show that we're real. And so, we started slowly at the beginning with smaller telcos, maybe you know less demanding, not as many subscribers, not as many plans. And so, um, so we've we've started there and slowly moved up market, starting to talk to tier tier twos. The tier, like I said, the tier ones are starting to come into view. And again, we're not taking over their crown jewels, right? We're not, we're not swapping out like their biggest installations of charging. But they are looking at us at like 5G installations, IoT, little cohorts and segments of their subscribers uh, to start to experiment with the technology. And uh, I'm, I'm really, really pleased with that. That's exactly how I want to start. So, yeah. So, I mean, there's a, a lot to talk about here and some, you know, big players here to talk about these kind of topics while we're at DSP Leaders World Forum. We're also going to have some fun, of course. And part of that fun is uh, the Neil McRae. Neil McRae is from BT, of course. And Neil has organized the Pinball Invitational Tournament. Are you going to be taking part? 
Well, first of all, he's a pinball wizard. And so I'm pretty sure he's competing in the tournament himself. Uh, no promises to take down the king. Um, uh, but I did practice a little bit of pinball before I came. Right. I am a very competitive. As you know, I love to play tennis. Um, and so, who, I, you know, a little bit of luck. You know, maybe I catch the flipper just right. You never know. So, yes, I'm participating in the event, uh, looking forward to just having a really good time. So I think this is a really good mix. Right. It's, it's you know, these really scintillating conversations during the day. At night, we're going to do some fun things. we got the pinball tournament. And so I'm super I'm looking forward to it. I've been looking forward to this for months. So, yeah. So as well as playing pinball and just generally having fun, we're also, of course, having a party. And, and you're a big part of that, aren't you? Oh, I'm excited to help and contribute in any way. And so I think I'm buying the drinks this year. Um, and so really excited about that. Um, you know, I'm a big lover of champagne. I think we're opening with some Dom Perignon, you know, high end for the top minds of Telco. And so I think we're throwing in a little whiskey nightcap at the end. Um, I think I have some, some dry ice, so we have some cloudy effects. I am the cloud girl in Telco after all. And so I think, like I said, um, great conversation, ability to kind of make it more casual, network with people. And I think, again, Telecom TV always does a great job, and I'm really excited to be part of this event. Okay, excellent. Well, the good news for us is that the drinks are on you, Danielle, Yay! while we're here at the Fairmont. So, Great to see you. Thanks great for joining you. us and thanks for being part of this event. Always great to be a part of it. Thank you, Ray.